Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got another news episode today, it's episode 34 for the 13th of March. I uh, really appreciate all the support, um, it does mean a lot. I know I keep saying it, but um, the growth on the channel has been quite, I don't know, um, overwhelming, I guess. Um, it's doing a lot more than I thought it would, so I am really grateful to all of you. Uh, keep supporting. If you haven't already done so, please hit the sub button. Uh, hit the thumbs up on the video, that helps as well, and if you would leave some feedback in the comments, that would be very much appreciated. Um, I am trying to hit the monetization goals, I know I keep harping on about this, I do apologise, but if you wouldn't mind letting this video play all the way through, or when you've finished watching another one of my videos, there will be some links at the end, just to try and get the viewing hours up, I'd be very grateful for that. If you want to discuss anything in this video, or any of my other videos, any of my games, or anything I've been playing, you can catch us live on a night from around 10 o'clock UK, uh, if you want to come and have a discussion here on YouTube. Thank you very much. Alright, so let's hit the news, shall we? So yeah, I've had a lot going on um, behind the scenes the last couple of weeks, so I do apologise, I haven't been as active as I normally am. I have been conscious of trying to get the videos out, but I did miss last week's news. Um, so, try and catch up on a few bits of that. Um, so the first bit of news is Yuzu, the emulator for the Nintendo Switch that Nintendo were not happy about. It got took down, but apparently now it's back in a new form um, as Suyu, apparently. A bit of a strange name for suing after the legal actions they've had. We're going to sue you. Good luck to them. Apparently, they're going to put measures in place that'll help them avoid any legal action from Nintendo going forward. I kind of see that happening. Um, it's entertaining, if anything. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, similarly, Nintendo uh, Miyamoto has announced that a new Mario movie is coming to follow the success of the last one in 2026. Uh, but he's alluded that it's not going to be a real direct sequel to the first one, but will broaden Mario's world, whatever that means. Uh, will it be an adventure with different characters, like Yoshi, or will it be a Luigi-focused one, like Luigi Mansion or something, or... I don't know. Um, be interesting to keep an eye on. Let us know what you think. Uh, some sad news. The Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama sadly passed away this week at the age of 68. Um, obviously he's mostly well known for Dragon Ball. Um, but he did do a lot of work as well on computer games, video games. Including art for the Dragon Quest series and Chrono Trigger and there's many, many more. Uh, obviously his anime will be the main thing he's remembered for um well yeah sad news there is work in the progress on a game based on his sandland um anime so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that hopefully they'll include some sort of tribute to him within the gameplay of that yeah that was a bit sad when i heard about that to be fair i never really watched a lot of dragon ball and stuff but i know how popular it is in the anime scene and it's he's had quite an impact on a lot of people i know a lot of the boys joe's boys are like well in there all his stuff um so yeah that's pretty sad news there speaking of anime overwatch 2 announced a collaboration with Cowboy Bebop. Um, apparently some of the players are going to have skins over the top of them. From some of the characters of Cowboy Bebop. But it's not something I've watched personally. Will it draw people back to the game? I very much doubt it. Because apparently it's dying on its ass As it stands. Yeah. They're obviously trying to push things. And trying to get people back on board. But let us know what you think in the comments below. Speaking of skins and stuff. I want a little bit closer to my heart. Call of Duty announced a collaboration with Warhammer 40k, so apparently you're going to be able to be a space marine mooching around in Warzone. There's going to be a number of different factions by the looks of it, which is quite good in a way, but it's still not going to be enough to pull me back into the game. Uh, the marines themselves are supposed to be like 9-10 foot superhuman warriors, but obviously they kind of do the full scale of it. In the game because you'd be too much of an easy target um yeah it's a bit of an odd one i don't know um the gun skins look quite cool with the imperium badge on there and stuff but 
Let us know what you think in the comments below. Will it garner your interest? Um, on a personal level, I've been finding Valorant a bit of a slog of late. I mean, I know that's sort of what I've been streaming for the most part. For Christ, the best part of two years now, I think. But I am finding it mentally draining, even contemplating logging onto the game at times. Um, so I'm trying to take a bit of a step back from that. Um, I'm not abandoning it all together. I will be playing it from time to time, but I am trying to step back from that. Whether that's just having the odd night off because of everything that's going on at home, um, I don't know. But I have actually just joined up with a friend in a Blood Bowl community. He's been trying to get us involved for a while um, behind the scenes, but I've sort of put it off and put it off. I bought Blood Bowl 3 at launch, um, but the game was just a broken mess. So I think I played a couple of games against the computer and then didn't bother going back to it. Um, but apparently it's in the season 4 now. Uh, they've just announced... The, well, it just released yesterday. Um, they've announced the Wood Elves, um, which are a decent team, to be fair. They're really quick and nimble, but they're quite weak, so if they get caught, they get killed, but they are hard to catch. I've had a lot of insurances that the game is fixed and there's now tournament tools in place and the game's ready for competitions. So I've decided to pick it back up and give it a go. Um, I've not played Blood Bowl seriously for like 20 odd year to be fair so it could be interesting but um, I will be live streaming the games on YouTube I probably will multi-stream to Twitch as well the Blood Bowl stuff because the viewing figures are pretty grim all around to be honest so if I'm going to get anybody watching I might be better off doing that but um, if you fancy joining in the game I think it is cheap still on CD keys, I think you can pick it up for about a tenner on CD keys. I want to try and give us a game, and I'm hopefully going to be progressing up through some ladders. I'll be playing the online ladders and stuff once I get past all the computer stuff. Hoping to join the league. I've just, like I said, I've just joined this community, so I'm hoping to join in with all their games. They, are, they do have a, their own ladder, and they have leagues and stuff ongoing as well. But, um, I think I just missed out on the start of this one, but the, they had a feeling someone might be dropping out, so I might be able to step in hence why i'm trying to get involved but i need to play the game and refresh my mind on how it actually works because there's a lot changed since i used to play it back in the day um i will be posting updates and scores and stuff in my discord the link is in the description if you want to join in there and see how things are going i will be posting other videos and things like that as well just let us know um but other than that that's about it for the news um as I said, I have had a lot going on behind the scenes, so I, I do apologise if I've sort of been a bit vacant or not really been with it at times when I've been online. But um, we'll have to see how this weekend goes. There's, there's still stuff happening um, that might take us through this weekend, but hopefully everything will be good and we'll be able to push on. But in the meantime, thanks everyone for coming by and thanks for the support, for the continued support. It does mean a lot and uh, I am grateful to each and every one of you. Uh, my ghost videos will still be popping up every Tuesdays and Thursdays. They, they've been good fun. They sort of took my mind off a lot of stuff while I've been doing them in the meantime. Um, I will try and get a news video out every week if I can, um, depending on how things are going. And I will be live from around 10 o'clock most nights hopefully so if you want to discuss anything like i said just pop by there and we can have a chat in the meantime thanks for coming by and i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching